Hey folks, Dave back here in Studio B in another quick video for you here today. Uh, I think I stumbled on a way of getting graphics into Strat PC football. Uh, that was the one game I just picked up. I'm going to try to show that off on the channel uh, well, in the next few days, hopefully. I was going to try to do it tonight, but I'm tired tonight. But I did figure out a way to get the graphics in there. So uh, bear with me. Uh, let, let's see if we can do this right now. Alrighty, so first thing you want to do is you want to go to this website here. Okay, and that's I'll link it in the description. Uh, I, I just did a search for Stratomatic Fan Forum Draft League. That's what I did, and it came up on Michael Stucci's website here. Uh, it, I, there was a video on YouTube that showed how to do this, but it was it was an older video, and boy, it was um, it was quite difficult the way the guy did it. So I'm going to show you how I figured out how to do it kind of the easy way, okay? Now, it didn't say that this was private or off-limits, so I'm assuming this is open to everybody here, okay? If it's not, I'm sure they'll let me know, and I'll take the video down. But somebody else put this on YouTube, and it, he didn't mark it private. So so go to this website here, michaelstucci.com slash sffdl. Again, search for Stratomic Fan Fan Forum Draft League, and this will come up. What you want is you want your, over here on the left, you want your graphic graphics end zones and uh, FC for use with the SMFB any, okay? Um, so that's going to get you the graphics package. Then what you want to do is you want to download that, and it's going to be all kinds of uh, end zone looking graphics and fields. When you open that up, you want to copy all those graphics, come over to your Stratomatic football folder here. You want to go into graphics, and you want to drop it all into the teams folder. And you can see that that's what I've done here, okay? So they've done all the graphics, and I dropped it into my teams folder. So again, you, uh, mine is in my C drive, Stratomatic football into my graphics, and drop that all into my teams folder. Okay, that should be all set to go. So you have end zones, and you have fields. All right, so let's get out of that. Let's drop this out of the way, and let's go to Stratomatic Football. I'm going to show you how to put them in. All right, now I'm still not getting, I'm still getting used to this game. It's, it's, a, it's a funky, funky game. Okay, so you got this is the main screen. So you got to exit to LM. Okay, so let's exit out. All right, so then it does this. All right, so I have the 1981 season. That's all I have right now. So if I go to Tampa Bay, and I go to Team Notebook. You can see that my Buccaneers logo is here, and if I go to Info, uh, this is where I put in the logo. So I went to my my center logo, my end zone logo. That's all I've touched. It's just center and end zone. Okay, and I browse and I put them in, so I don't want to touch that. So I do want to show you somebody uh, else here that I haven't done. So let's go to uh, let's go to the Houston Oilers. So we're gonna go team notebook. Now hopefully this will work now. So this is just the generic end zones up here. Now these are the players. I didn't touch the players, but the end zone will show you up here. So let's go to Info. Let's go to my end zone, and I'm in the Teams folder here. So I'm going to scroll down to Oilers, because right, I think it's um, uh, alphabetical by last name. All right, so let's back up to Oilers. All right, so i got a couple different end zones here, uh, 75 to 96. So I'm playing 81, so I will take this one, and I will hit Open. So as you can see now, my end zone is this Teams Oilers thing. And now I need to change the center logo from Field Center Bimp to the Oilers. So again, I click on it. Now it's going to default to Field. So you need to click up one and then go into your teams. And again, scroll down, scroll down to uh, the O for Oilers. And uh, this is good right here, 75 to 96. I landed right on it. And I will click Open. And I can see that I have my Oilers logos here for the end zone and the center logo. And I hit OK and I close. Now you do got to restart the game. That's one thing I did find out that it's not going to be in the game. So I'm going to close out. I'm going to go back to my Strat football. And, again, it's really funky how this, this does games. All right, so let's go to my home team. And I'm going to go to Houston. Okay, and visiting team, it doesn't matter. I'll just say Cleveland. Now, if I did it correctly, and, of course, <laughs> I've been known to make mistakes, but hopefully now it'll be in there. So I'm going to launch. And, yep, there we go. Look at that. It's got the Oilers and Houston, so Cleveland will kick off. And you can see that I have the Houston field, and it's all done up really nice, and that is that. So that's how you do it. And that's how you get the logos in there. So let me uh, let me exit out of this. And again, just to show you um, one more time, 
Now, how to do that. So I'll pick another team here. What team do I want to do? Um, 81. Well, we'll do San Francisco. What do you think? So we'll click on San Francisco, and we'll go to Team Notebook. We'll go to my info, and I'll do the center logo first. So I'm going to go 40. i got to bump, bump it up from field to teams. Everything goes in the teams folder. So I got the 49ers here. So I got 79 and 94 because I'm in 81, so we'll take that one. And then we'll go to my end zone. Oh, wait, that was my end zone. Never mind. Uh, so I got, I got to change that. So I got to go back to my – so that's going to be my end zone, right? And then I'm going to go to my field. This center logo is the field. So I got to change this, and uh, that looks like the 49 is 79 to 94. I will take that. I will open that up. So I now I got my 49 is – that should be good to go. Hopefully I did that correctly. Hopefully I have it okay. Let me just double check it. So I got my – uh, FC is the field, yep, and this the regular one is the logo, yep. So I'm going to hit OK and close it out. And now let's exit out of the game. Go back in one more time. It loads up. Let's pick the home team. will be San Francisco. Okay, and we'll leave Cleveland. That's fine. And let's launch, and oh, didn't work. Hmm. Okay, that time it didn't work. So let's find out what happened here. Why didn't that work for San Francisco? Because if I go back in, uh, let's check San Francisco team notebook. Oh, it should be there. Let's try it again. Let's go to my center logo, and we'll try this one. How about this one right here? 49 is that one. Let's try this one now. Okay. Let's close out. Of course, I did this live, right, and it's, it's not working. Maybe I didn't pick San Francisco. No, San Francisco. Oh, 2019. No wonder why. Okay, that's why. Is I have the wrong team here. So I got to go to my 81. And let's see. Pick a new team here. Oh, look, hold on. It's a home team. Aha. That's what I didn't do. I had 2019. And that's what. Okay. Good, good thing there. So there's my 81. San Francisco. Yep. So that should work now. And yep. There we go. There it is right there. So that's what I had wrong. I had the wrong team on that but that's how um yeah i think that that should work as far as getting some logos in the game it's that simple that website there i, I hope they're free uh, another person said to go to that site on youtube so i'm just redirecting you to what i found on youtube download all those graphics drop it in the teams folder now they have a field folder which is really weird okay that you would think the fields go in there but no everything goes in the team folder and then you just go into that info in the team notebook, and you can change your end zones and your field, and they all have to be in the teams folder. And they and you got to restart the game to come right up. So that is that. Another little um, tip here on the channel. Hopefully it'll, it'll help uh, somebody play that there. Um, so I'm gonna go and I'll kick around my um, my Buccaneers field looks so good on that. They did a good job of the Buccaneers field. And what's neat about that is, is I've been learning Photoshop. So once I have the uh, somebody did the graphics, I can kind of take that into Photoshop and size it up, and then I can um, figure out how to make my own. So I, I might even do that. I might even go in there and try to, to kick it around and, and uh, make some of my own fields and graphics at some point. But uh, maybe maybe make a digital to dice field. You never know. It could be kind of fun. Uh, but anyway, hey, thanks for watching. I just wanted to jump on here. I was gonna, I'm gonna, I was gonna record and upload it, but I'll just go on live and show this right here. So hopefully it'll get up a little quicker tonight. Uh, and yes, uh, Stratomatic has a terrible interface. <laughs> I, I had to actually read the directions on how to start a game. No joke. I couldn't, I couldn't, didn't know how to start a game. I had to read on how to start a game in that there. But now, now I can start up pretty much but anyway that's how you put in uh some graphics in there so that's where to get the graphics and how to put them in it's, it's really kind of a piece of cake and uh so i'm gonna go and play a little around with that and uh, actually I, you know i might do some golf i know al was doing a live thing tonight but i just wanted to jump on this so maybe when al's done maybe i'll try some that new golf game oh boy the new golf game <laughs> hey i'm dave thanks